On a whole, I'm really happy with the album. I think it's uh, it, it's a worthy second album, and so far the re you know the reception's been great. I'm really happy with it. I've been really excited about getting it out, and I hope people like it, and I hope people enjoy it when we play it on tour, when we go you know back on the road again and and play these tracks because I think they are you know whenever I'm writing, I always think of the live. I'm always thinking about how these tracks are going to pan out you know in a show, and uh, also if you get the CD, it's the first time that I ever really took real um, at at attention to the space between the tracks there's a lot of tracks a couple of them sort of merge together and a couple of them have spaces because they're too different to mix and uh, you know I really did take my time over that obviously when you when you do digital downloads you miss some of that and you know, some of that gets lost in translation but uh, if you buy the CD um, then obviously you will get you know some uh, some kind of interesting mergers and you know just the way the mood can shift from one to another and I try and keep you know keep the pace going as uh, as is the whole you know the whole idea of it so making the album was pretty smooth. The only small problem I did have was at the end when uh, I was doing the album cover, the artwork and all that. Um, I had an image that I lifted off the internet and it uh, turns out that, you know, I, I bought it off this guy and it wasn't his and then the artist came forward and I had to email her and say, look, I'm really sorry and basically beg her to let me use it for nothing. But she was very understanding about it and uh, luckily it wasn't a bad situation that it could have been. But uh, that's the trouble, you know, sometimes you can, you know, you see something that catches your eye and you think, I want that, but sometimes it's not yours to take and uh, I guess I learned that the hard way and uh, I realised that people do lie, unfortunately. There are some great guitar performances on this record. You know, you've got Nathan, also you've got Nicky, and you've got Reese. I mean, Nicky Cotter was a guy, a Scottish guitarist I saw on YouTube, and he was playing like Steve Vai, like perfectly. And uh, where I come from, if you see a guitarist playing that well, then you grab him and you try and persuade him to uh, perform on your record for you. But he did a great job on a couple of tracks, and uh, yeah, it's a really great talent on there, and I'm really happy with how it all sounds. Lyrically, there's some deep stuff, but there's not so deep stuff. There's some funny stuff, and there's some moments where I'm trying to just think of a word that rhymes. You know, that's that's always the way it goes. You know, I think people can think too much into lyrics, but I mean, obviously, they're there if you to listen to and think about. But I think when you start judging the whole quality of the song by the lyrics, sometimes that can get a bit a bit tricky. But in the main, you know, I think uh, I think people will like it. Roxy's dad is about uh, a young man who sleeps with a stripper and then finds out that the father is very unhappy about this and then the father comes after him with, you know, a shotgun or, you know, whatever. He's just uh, very unhappy that somebody has slept with his daughter. And, uh, it's, it, originally the track was called Angry Father Blues, which I thought was a bit too simple. So then I changed it to uh, Roxy's dad, which is just kind of, you know, it could mean anything. But yeah, it's about sleeping with a girl and then finding out that uh, her father wants to kill you. Bird in the Sky was a track that was originally going to be left off because I thought it sounded a bit too Metallica-esque, a bit too uh, metal for me. But then, you know, a lot of people liked it and I, they persuaded me to leave it on. Um, it's open to interpretation. It is written about a World War II bomber that goes down. But then, you know, there's comparisons that other people have made with lots of different things and, you know, it, it could be anything really. But originally, that's what I was going for. It's a, it, it's a sad tale of a, you know, a bomber that gets shot down. The blues element is still in there, obviously, always, and then you've got like the classic rock and roll thing, and then, like I said, Bird in the Sky is a little bit heavier, more virgin towards metal, but uh, you know you can you know you, you can go into it with an open mind and take what you want from it. I think uh, uh, the Rock Regeneration said that uh, Wolf Moon was the first blues track that he had heard that was written about a werewolf, so you know, I will take that as a compliment. Look the other way is like a love song, you know, it's quite a, you know, it's an interesting kind of love song. And then of course you've got um, Motel No Tell, which is about, you know, a, a kind of semi-infamous uh, selection of motels that are really made just for uh, rendezvous, you know, just uh, couples to meet up or people who aren't couples who are cheating or whatever to meet up and have a good time. So that's kind of a bit of a funny, you know, a bit of a funny track. It's not, not to be taken too seriously, it's just a bit dirty and a bit kooky and it's just, you know, it is what it is. 
Trust Me is probably one of my favorite tracks on the album and it's a track we did a video for, we did a, you know, the release as a single because it's, it's a pretty personal subject, you know, that's where the lyrics do, you know, make a lot of sense to me. They probably won't make sense to anyone else. I'm, I'm not really going to explain what it's about, but it's a personal subject where, you know, you're just screaming at someone, for God's sake, just trust me, you know, just come with me, take my hand, let me help you through this and, uh, and it'll be all right. Stop worrying about everything, you know, um, and it's just about, um, very very wasted opportunity because someone won't just let go and let what is meant to be be but uh, you know it happens every day and I think it's a song that a lot of people can relate to but hopefully above all that it's a kick in tune with some great guitar and hopefully uh, people will dig it along with the video It's a good collaborative kind of album, you know, you've got Nathan Bellows, Nicky Cotter, Reese Harris, Richard Brewers on the album, and it's just going to be, you know, a lot of fun, and there's a whole host of other musicians that contributed to, you know, bass tracks and guitar tracks and even drum tracks, you know, I, again, I don't play drums on the album, I just wanted to focus strictly on the sort of singer-songwriting thing, but uh, there's a bit of percussion, I, I do a bit of percussion in there, and obviously the harmonica and stuff, but uh, mainly it's all about the vocal chords for me in this one. I was very much itching to play some of this new material on tour, but unfortunately we didn't really have time to rehearse any of it, so uh, hopefully when we go back out on the road again we'll be playing more of it. But uh, yeah, we did, you know, we did 15 dates, man, and it was it was heavy, some of it was, you know, difficult, but uh, in the main it was great, it was a really good time. And I think a lot of that was where you learn your chops, I mean, a lot of bands, you, you rehearse in the rehearsal studio, but it, you really learn things when you're out on the road, so doing an extensive set of gigs like that was something, I think, was baptism by fire for me as a solo artist anyway. When I first did No Cure for Curiosity, there wasn't there wasn't that much pressure because it was kind of like, okay, I'm just going to do my own thing. Uh, I don't think anybody knows what to expect. So if they like it, then they can take it. If they don't like it, whatever, you know. You know? So, uh, so basically, when we did this album, there was a bit more pressure because, okay, the last album was so uh, so successful that uh, you know, this one, you know, you, you want to make it as good, if not better. You don't want to go backwards. So, uh, you know, so many people dug the last album, so I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure they're going to like this one. But you know, I'm always, you know, I'm always praying that they do like it because you never know. People's tastes change all the time, and just, you have to try and keep up with that.
there's definitely a lot more harmonica on this album because uh, actually I haven't said that I don't think there's any harmonica on the first album but anyway you know there's lots of that because I kind of got to a level where I felt comfortable putting it on record and uh, I went wild with it you know I think the album is a lot of fun and I think, uh, well, look, if it's half as much fun as it was to make, then I think people will have a good time, definitely. And uh, we'll see you back on tour when we play the album live.